of all, let me say good morning. Uh, let me thank uh, the members of the Judiciary Committee for a very productive year. Other than putting all of the judicial legislation to the floor, we have confirmed two Court of Appeal judges, one of which is Chief Judge. We have put forth 57 uh, nominations for judges for Court of Claims and Supreme Court. And I would have to say that uh, the judges that have come before us have been exceptionally qualified, uh, have had experience, and uh, do honor to the judicial branch. And the six individuals that we're going to confirm today meet the standards that I just spoke of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call up one judge at a time who will sit here. I will give a very brief resume of that judge. And then if any of the Senate members want to ask a question of that judge, uh, they can. All these judges are presently serving. These are just an extension of their existing terms. So then none of them are new judges. So uh, the first judge will be uh, James A. Ferrara. It's a reappointment to the Court of Claims. So judge, come on up. He's from the Capital Region. He was appointed to the Court of Claims in 2006 and is currently an active Supreme Court Justice in the Third Judicial District. He previously served as Deputy Commissioner and General Counsel to DEC, was a Deputy Bureau Chief in the Office of the Attorney General, a Law Clerk in the Appellate Division, Fourth Degree, and in Private Practice. Would any Senator like to speak on this nominee? Senator Breslin. You know, as a, a local attorney in the Capital District, I, I get to inter, interact and intersect with the, a lot of the judges and, and talk to lawyers about the quality of the judges. And uh, our candidate here today for reappointment has the highest reputation. He's done an exemplary job. Uh, I, it seems like yesterday he was among uh, four judges that came before uh, the, the Senate who had been appointed by Governor Pataki, and they were all from Del Mar, and I referred to them as <laughs> the Del Mar Four. Well, the Del Mar Four proved to be exemplary judges, starting with our present judge. Thank you, Senator Breslin. Anyone else want to speak? What I forgot to mention, that any judge that comes up here wants to say a few words, they can. I don't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, at this time, I would like to move the nomination so moved. Uh, of second. Judge Ferrara. Uh, Se Senator Hasseltop, second by Senator Breslin. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Congratulations, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, before I continue, uh, the young lady to my left is Jessica Cherry, our counsel, and the other young lady to my left is Ruth Hassel Thompson, which is the ranker on the judiciary, who will be leaving the legislature uh, at the end of this session uh, to take a position with uh, Governor Cuomo. She's been an outstanding ranker, a very good supporter of the bench, and uh, uh, would you like to say a couple words? I know I'm catching your cold. But, uh, uh, you're, you, it'd be good if you spoke, but the judges, I don't know. But go ahead. <laughs> um, to you, Senator Bonasac, first. Um, you have been an extraordinary chair of this committee. You've been so totally respectful of me and the position of ranker, and it has made the job that I've had to do very, very easy from that perspective. Um, there have been very few times that we have disagreed over the, I think, 12 years we've been together. 12 years, yeah. That we've been together. And of the 16 that I've, I've served here in the legislature to have been on the judiciary uh, for that many years, not to be a lawyer myself, but to look at the law from the, uh, through the eyes of constituents and to look at people 
and to look at who's going to be judging them is very important and has become extremely important to me. Um, I have enjoyed the, the many years that I've had the privilege to serve here, both as a ranker and as a member of, of this committee. And I have felt that the, of the five um, governors under which I have served, uh, we have had an extraordinary opportunity to bring people to the bench who understand law, but also have compassion for the frailties of, human, of the human condition. And so I, uh, again, thank you, you, John Panasak, and to my other colleagues who have put up with me sometimes when I've been a little bit ascorbic about some of the choices, not based upon the capabilities or the capacity, but sometimes the failure to recognize the diversity of the state and fail to put that diversity and have it reflected in the judicial um, system in our state. Uh, and I have admonished the East government, whether, whether I was of their party or not, to ensure that we recognize that diversity and to embrace it in the best way possible in the way in which we make choices. Because we cannot say that we do not have the, um, the capability uh, or the talent among every race and gender in this state. And so that I think it behooves every governor to do the best that he or she can to ensure that this bench and that all of our benches are more reflective of the people that we serve. Thank you. Thank you, Ruth. We're going to miss you. Uh, the next judge is Gina M. Lopez Suma. Uh, judge Suma is from Long Island. She has served on the Court of Claims since 2006. Previously, she was general counsel to the New York State Division of Human Rights, the managing attorney for the New York City Commission on Human Rights, and a law clerk in the Supreme Court, Kings County. Would any senator like to speak uh, on the nominee? First of all, welcome to Albany. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, senator DeLon. I just want to uh, congratulate uh, Ms. Uh, Suma to uh, reappointment. Wish you all the best. And that is the only woman on the panel today. I wish you all the best, but I also wish you all the best. Thank you. Uh, senator Zolio. It certainly, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I uh, share Senator DeLon's uh, review of this uh, excellent candidate, and it, uh, I'd like to add my name uh, to supporting that I also, with the chair's indulgence, uh, was unavoidably uh, late for our meeting, and I wanted to give special, uh, and I hope you won't withdraw the uh, vote of the last nominee, but uh, Jim Fair, Judge Fair, is one of the uh, longtime uh, judges on the Court of Claims, and uh, one who has served with distinction in many different capacities, including working for the legislature. And uh, I know I have a couple of colleagues who, uh, particularly one who's on a Federal District Court of Appeals, who was a former mentor, uh, Dick Wesley, and that I know that uh, certainly he's very proud of uh, the judge's accomplishments, and so please add my name to those who, uh, and my words to those that are supporting uh, both of these nominations. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Zolio. Anyone else wish to speak? Hearing none, uh, I'd like to move the nomination so uh, of Judge Lopez by Senator Ruth Tassel Thompson. Do I have a second? Senator DeLon. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Nobody opposed. Congratulations, Your Honor. Aye. Um, but this is only phase one. We expect all these nominations to be moved for the floor today and confirmed by the full legislature. So when you go home tonight and you know go to bed, you know that you're good for a while longer serving on the bench. Uh, our next judge is uh, Judge Stephen Lloyd Barrett. Uh, judge Barrett is from New York City. Uh, he is currently an acting justice of the New York State Supreme Court, Bronx County. He previously served as a judge of the Criminal Court of the City of New York and as a federal defender in the U.S. Court of Appeals 
Second Circuit, and as an attorney for the Legal Aid Society Criminal Appeals Bureau. Would any senator like to speak on this nominee? Well, since I'm the only senator Sorry. here from the Bronx, I would, I, would not, <laughs> I would not like him to go back and have his colleagues say that no one from the Bronx spoke on your behalf. So congratulations to you. So some senator still loves you. <laughs> OK. Uh, I'm going to move the nomination. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, do I? Nobody opposed? Your Honor, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Judge Barry was a reappointment to the state Supreme Court, and our next three will also be reappointment to the state Supreme Court. Next is Antonio Brandveen. Uh, Judge Brandveen is from Nassau County. He was appointed to the Court of Claims in 1987 and is currently an acting justice of the Supreme Court in Bronx and Nassau counties. He has previously worked as a senior law clerk in the New York State uh, Supreme Court as a staff attorney for Harlem Legal Services and New York City Health and Hospitals Corporation and served as first lieutenant in the United States Air Force. And thank you for your service to our country. Uh, would any senator like to speak on this nominee? Uh, senator Boyle. I would just like to uh, say, Your Honor, congratulations in advance. And uh, uh, the Lexus profile, maybe next time you come up, you maybe get a resume. This is more like a mugshot than uh, <laughs> 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 But a wonderful resume. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Just saving money. Just saving money. <laughs> <laughs> <You're recruiting laughs> <them. laughs> Does anyone else? Like to speak? I hope you don't have any okay. cases. I hear it at this time. I'd like to move the nomination of Judge Brandbean. So all those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay, Your Honor, you're on your way. Thank you for being here. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Our you. next judge is going to be Judge Robert David Kalish. Judge Kalish is from New York City. He currently is an active Supreme Court judge in Kings County Criminal Court. Uh, he has served as an acting Supreme Court judge of the Civil Branch in New York County Criminal Court, uh, and also Criminal Court judge in Kings County, and an interim Civil Court judge in New York City Civil Court, Queens County. He previously has worked as Corporation Counsel for the City of New York and in private practice. Would any senator like to speak on this nominee? Just uh, one comment, Senator Mazzoli. Chairman, thank you. Uh, Judge, do you miss Buffalo at all? <laughs> I love Buffalo. <laughs> it, uh, I see you uh, went to school there, and it, uh, I'm glad you had a, 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 although limited, but still experienced in upstate New York. It was a great school in those days. But, uh, uh, who was the mayor? Uh, when you were corporation counsel in New York City? Uh, well, when I began, I started with, Judge, uh, with Mayor Koch. Hey, Koch. I've been through each of the mayors through the mayor, the mayor of Bloomberg. I see. Really? So I've mm -hmm. been through many mayors and many corporation counsels. Are you going to say, how am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, anyone else want to speak? If not, uh, I would like to move the nomination so, of Judge Taylor. Ruth Cassidy Thompson, do I have a second? Second. second? second by Senator Savino. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Congratulations, Your Honor. Thank, Thank you. For Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our last judge is Alan Marin. Uh, uh, judge Marin, as you know, is a renomination like the other three. Uh, on the Supreme Court it's from New York City. He was appointed to the Court of Claims in 1997. He previously worked as counsel to the New York State Assembly as a member of the New York State Deferred Compensation Board and the private practice of law. Would any senator like to speak on this nominee? Okay, uh, I'll ask a question. Where in New York City did you live? 10th Street. 10th Street? Penn University, yes. Good. You know, I was 49th at night growing up. <laughs> the old Hell's Kitchen. That's where I was born. We never met. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> okay. Uh, no one else has any comments? Uh, hearing none, 
Uh, at this time, I'd like to move the nomination of Judge Marin for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, no one opposed? Congratulations, Your Honor. Thank you. Are we still living there? Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, before we close the meeting, Senator Zolio has the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just a point of order. I'd like to uh, indicate that in the audience today, as he is uh, so frequently during uh, the nomination process for our judges, uh, has been a long time a judge himself, one we have greatest respect in, and that's Dick Sykes. Dick, great to see you, Judge. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Senator Zolio. Uh, the meeting is now adjourned. It's now. Uh,